Hello fellow fish nerds and happy Fry Friday to you. I'm sure you're probably looking at this and wondering what in the world is he doing now? That's a bunch of water bottles with some disgusting water in it. Well, most fish, or fish nerds would probably know that it's probably pond water. This is a lesson I'm doing with my students, my uh, environmental science students. Um, I got the idea from a uh, channel. Go check out his channel and his videos. I'll post a link to his channel right up here in the top right hand corner of the screen. Um, he, he's calling these uh, uh, ecospheres. I um, think he got some of the ideas, uh, especially the brine shrimp ecosphere from uh, Cody's lab. But um, anyway, I decided to do this with my environmental science students to help them to. Um, um, appreciate the smaller world and the s smaller things and be happy with little things that you have is the underlying meaning but the environmental science aspect of it is to see a complete ecosystem in a 16.9 ounce or 500 uh, milliliter water bottle <coughs> we um, went down to the pond on today's Friday we went down to the pond on Monday and um, I'll try to put that video at the end of this video so you all can see what it looked like. And they literally just uh, filled them up with some pond water and pond scum and pond gunk. And I told them that uh, clean water was not the goal. Clean water like here, that was not really the goal. But our goal was to get the dirtiest water we could possibly find that was green and brown and had dead things in it and stuff. And some students did a great job with that and uh, some even added plants but of course they'll see what's going to happen from that and I don't want to give away what's going to happen just in case they are watching this but they thought okay we're just going to get a bunch of pond gunk and you know water and so it's going to be a disgusting water bottle filled with gross water and pond scum and gunk and detritus and mulm and, and just it'll be gross and what's going to happen well they're very shocked to see, especially one student who I want to point out, their water bottle, they're lucky enough, you see right there, has, there's one snail, they actually have two snails in this bottle, I can't find the other one right now, but there's one of the snails right there, and they actually named both of the snails. Um, another student has a snail right there, you might see. <coughs> um, some of the students are seeing, finding, now fish nerds are getting really excited about this part. So we can see any, yep, yeah, there's, uh, what was that, a mosquito larvae I just saw maybe? Ah, definitely at the very top there, you get the focus a bit better, but, and the glare off from the fluorescent lights, but, um, some, uh, come on glare. There is not going away. Um, there we go. Some Daphnia or some water fleas swimming around in there. So super exciting. Great way to teach students about um, great way to teach students about um, ecosystems and appreciate smaller ecosystems. And. Uh, And so yeah, I'm pretty excited with, with the results and how these are going to look. I think this one looks pretty cool with all the plants in there. And this one's going to look... I think this one had a nice little, nice little bit of bladder wort, I think, in there. So they'll be able to see that. You see some Daphnia swimming around in there. That's pretty cool. Um, some of these, yeah, definitely have some plants in here. And, you know, with light and nutrients from whatever's in here. And... They should be able to have a nice little ecosystem going on, a little micro ecosystem, a small aquatic uh, terrarium or a vivarium or what's the other word? I can't think of what it is right now, but well, how is this Fry Friday? Well, as I told my students, they are human fry. So um, I was pretty excited about this and I'll keep you updated. These uh, water bottles have been sitting here and settled for about 48 hours at this point. So obviously they didn't look this nice when they first came out of the pond. They looked, here I'll shake one up here. 
This one's not even dirty. Oop, that just got pond water on me. They look more like this, obviously. And uh, after set settling for 48 hours, they now look nice and clear. You can see the Daphne in them, see the snails, and see the small uh, organisms that are in there. So, <clears throat> like I said, it's Human Fry Friday. Um, I'm hoping to... Um, I was going to say here, I'm hoping to put the video of them uh, uh, collecting the water on the end of this video um, to show you what we did and, you know, a little small section of our pond that we have behind school. Lots of lessons out there. Uh, pretty, some pretty awesome lessons I can do out of the pond. I'm, I'm lucky to be at a school where we have a pond access like that and that are um, administration lets us go down to the pond as frequently as what I do in uh, environmental science. I love it and so many lessons I can teach down there. So, um, anyways, uh, stay tuned to, you know, to stay updated with the uh, results of these um, eco spheres. And so be sure to turn the, on the uh, no notifications, click that uh, notification bell down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Check out the links below uh, this video to my, um, my uh, shirt for my uh, channel and uh, links that can help to support my channel, my classroom, and uh, the Hooked on Fish program all without costing you anything extra just by shopping on Amazon. Please check those links below. Um, put any comments with any questions you may have um, about this project or any other ideas and a lot of comments end up turning into uh, videos. So don't be don't be shy. Click and you know type away on the comments. I really do appreciate comments and questions and new ideas for new content and new videos. So it's a great thing to have. So stay tuned and stay fishy, people. I'm trying to fill it up with some water and stuff. Put some more water in there. There we go. Put some more water in there. I don't want any of this to fall out. And try and get some more water. Yeah, definitely. Jordan, that's a question you don't really want to ask people. Don't ask anybody. All right, that looks good. Looks great. Nice. <laughs> Hello, fellow fish nerds, and happy Fry Friday to you. Or I guess in this case, it's Future Fry Friday. But I just saw something super exciting. Well, I got it super exciting for a fish nerd like myself. Um, I put these German Blue Rams, Micro Geophagus Ram Rizzi, in this tank probably about a week ago. I've been feeding them black worms about probably almost twice a day. Uh, I've been doing small water changes once a day because I know that they like, uh, they'll start breeding behavior once they feel like it's just rained and my water here luckily is very soft this usually comes out like 125 TDS you know or less um, which I'll put a link below to my TDS meter below this video and uh, anyways I just saw something so since I've been feeding them the black worms uh, I've noticed the pink spot on the female's belly she's on the right side her pink spot is becoming a little bit brighter, which is nice to see. They usually try hanging out next to this sponge, but they've been coming out a little bit more. But just recently, the super exciting thing is, is that I saw them picking at this terracotta plant right here, plant pot right here. And I thought, I was worried, I was like, oh no, they're picking at the eggs. And no, what they were doing was they were preparing the plant pot to lay eggs on it. So the feeding of the live foods, the water changes. Um, I took out the guppy fry that were in here so they could focus a little bit better possibly. I raised the water temperature um, from 80 up to 82, 83, somewhere around there. Um, I'm actually gonna check it right now and tell you. Temperature says, yeah, about 83 right now. So that's pretty good for them. And uh, hopefully I'll be seeing some more breeding behavior. I know they have plenty of Plenty of meat on their bones now, so that should be a good start. But I'm super excited. I really hope I can get them to breed. 
I definitely have the soft water here, which is a nice thing. So stay tuned. I'll hopefully get them in, in action, you know, preparing the space later on. So stay tuned. <laughs> 